going to be talking to you guys about the NARS Sheer Glow F Why do I keep wanting to call this the NARS freaking Sheer Glow Foundation? This is not NARS Sheer Glow. This is the All Day Luminous Weightless. <laughs> We'll start off. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review for you all on the All Day Luminous Foundation by NARS. This is a brand new foundation that they just released this year. It's new, it's cool, it's awesome, everybody loves it, and I'm going to tell you why. First things first, I'm the realist. This foundation is in the color Tahoe. That is the color that I'm wearing right now. It's a little bit too light for me, but I like it because um, my other foundations that I've been wearing are too dark for me and they're a little bit too red and I prefer for my foundations to have a very yellow undertone because I do not like for my face to be red. The next color down is too pink for me and then the next color down after that has the perfect undertone but it's too dark. So I had ended up getting the color Tahoe. First I want to say that I really love this foundation because of the consistency. It is a foundation for all skin types meaning that dry skin can wear it and oily skin can wear it so what it does is it is a liquid foundation so it comes out of the tube in a liquid form I don't know if you can hear that but that means that it's liquidy it is not a matte foundation and it is not a dewy foundation the consistency of the foundation is not going to moisturize your skin but it's also not going to dry your skin out so it has the perfect amount of, I don't know, it gives it a nice luminous finish and it looks very, very, really natural, I guess I should say. It's a very natural looking foundation. When you wear it, you're going to know that you have makeup on, of course. Some foundations, when you put them on, they immediately dissolve into your skin and, and you don't see anything. That's not with this foundation. When I put this foundation on, I can see that I have foundation on. The only difference is that as it warms up to your skin, you don't even feel like anything is there. It is very, very, very lightweight. Like it doesn't feel like anything is on your skin at all. Um, and I love that it blends very, very easy. I found that the best way to apply this is with your fingers and not with a brush. You can apply it with a brush, of course. You can apply it with a beauty blender. Um, there are many different ways to apply it, but I found that you get the most out of your product when you use your fingers. And that is because you can make the longevity of the product work. If you use your fingers, you're able to spread more of the product evenly over your face. And if you use a brush or a beauty blender, it's just gonna soak up some of the product, which you don't wanna do. Using my fingers, I can use one to two pumps to do my entire face. If I use a brush or a beauty blender, I have to use three to four pumps. I apply with my fingers and I tap it into my skin. Um, I just tap it in the places that I need the most coverage first and then I blend it out to the other spots of my face. I try not to get too much on the outer rim of my face because I know that I'm going to be applying um, my contour there and I do use a foundation to contour so I try not to do too much layering around those areas. I try to stick with making sure that my trouble areas are covered and I keep it basically in the center of my face. I blend it all out with a beauty blender and that's it. And it's really, really simple. It takes a couple minutes. Um, unlike other foundations that you really have to work into your skin to blend out, this one blends out really easy for me. After I do that, I apply my concealers, my, um, my brows and everything, and then I set the foundation. This foundation is actually worn best with a really light powder on top and nothing else because if you put too much on top then it's just going to get rid of the glowiness you want to get the full effect you know what i mean so i would suggest using a mineralized skin finish powder or something like that that's really lightweight and it's not going to um disturb your foundation underneath now this foundation does retail for 48 dollars. okay so i know that sounds like girl are you kidding me? I honestly think that it's worth every penny. You don't need a lot to cover your whole face. You probably won't need to buy another one of these for a couple months. Um, unlike some foundations where you're just pumping and pumping and spreading and pumping and spreading, you know what I mean? I will say in that aspect that it will last you a while. And I'm not gonna spend $48 on any foundation that I try that is like something else that I've tried. Um, the only thing I can say that this is close to is the L'Oreal True Match foundation, but it's not even, it's not as heavy as L'Oreal True Match. L'Oreal True Match has the same kind of consistency when it dries, but you still feel like you have makeup on when you're wearing that. This doesn't feel like you have makeup on, which is what I love 
um, because it's it reminds me of L'Oreal True Match almost, but when it when it dries, it feels like there's nothing there. Like I feel like I have nothing on my face right now. Almost like a powdery finish. So it goes on like a liquid, but it's so lightweight and airy that it feels like a powder. So it doesn't feel like cakey or anything like that. And it's flexible and it like it's really lightweight like it just it doesn't feel like there's anything on your face i don't know how to describe it but it's worth the 48 dollars to me and i will say that it is worth the money too because it can be used on many different types of skins S skins many different types of skin types let me get my life right it can be used on many different skin types so that's probably why it costs so much because it is a universal foundation almost like you can use it on so many different people and it photographs really well i have a light that's super close to my face right now and it is showing up really nice and i love the fact that in natural lighting this looks flawless it is not full coverage the foundation is a medium to full coverage so you can build it up to full coverage but it's mostly a medium um, when I put it on my face at first I can still see a little bit of my dark marks and I have to go over them with concealer that's not a problem for me because I love concealer anyway but just keep that in mind that it doesn't cover every imperfection but for me like I said in my full coverage foundation routine um, I do not wear full coverage foundations all the time and I like for my skin to breathe and even when you want a full coverage face the best thing to do is to wear a foundation that isn't full coverage and then to spot conceal where you need more coverage you could just put on one layer for foundation and then you can dot where you need to for your concealer and add a little more coverage with the same foundation and it layers really nice it doesn't crease it doesn't slide away it doesn't melt off or anything like that very very flattering it leaves your skin looking glowy and healthy um you don't look like cakey and ghostly when you wear it yeah i definitely would recommend it be sure to check the description box for links to where you can buy this foundation i got mine from sephora if there's anything else i'm missing guys please let me know i know it's kind of boring for me to just sit here and talk about a foundation but i did want to give you guys my opinions and thoughts on it so if you guys want me to do more reviews more in-depth reviews on products that i really really love i will do those for you also if you have any questions about my hair um i will be doing a review on this hair very very soon so guys be sure to check that out um when it's up i will put a link in the description box please check the description box i will put a link to the video of me applying this face and i will also put all of the information about whatever i'm wearing in the description box as well i hope that you guys have a great day and i will talk to you guys in my next video okay bye really quick I just wanted to do a update it is now 1107 I actually put the foundation on at 3 30 or 4 I think I did my makeup at 4 o'clock either way it's been about seven hours and this is what my face looks like I have not touched up my face at all I haven't repowdered it or anything like that I have done some just you know instinctual dabbing around my nose area um I just do that out of habit but other than that I have not touched my makeup at all um, and this is what my face looks like so I just wanted to give you guys an update on how the makeup holds up over time my face does look shiny but that's just normal of course you all know that I'm an oily person um, and I have really really oily skin um, but I would suggest it I would highly suggest it like I said it works for everybody all skin types um, and I'm in love I'm in love with the Google. I'm sleepy and I'm goofy when I'm sleepy, so I'm gonna go wash my face now, guys.